Hey everybody, this is Dream, and I'm going to be reviewing, this is the Zodiac speaking, the developer is uh, Punk Games, this is their second game on Xbox One, the other being Apocalypsis, and then the publisher is Clavature. Um, this game is $20, and it came out today on Xbox One. This is a story-driven first-person mystery horror game with stealth and detective elements. Um, this game is based on the Zodiac Killer, a famous never-caught serial killer in the United States. Uh, you play as a journalist named Robert who receives phone calls from the Zodiac and discovers evidence, unravels details of murders, and experiences a vintage look at an old yet compelling story. Um, overall, I was really excited for this game when I heard about it because I have an interest in the puzzles that, like, the Zodiac presented to the police back in the 70s, and especially ones that are so difficult to figure out, um, like this, like the Zodiac killer actually utilized. Um, so I was really looking forward to this when I heard, when I heard it was announced, um, Unfortunately, this game is a huge disappointment. It is not well crafted. The stealth elements don't seem to work correctly. Uh, sometimes they work so much that you could stand right in front of the Zodiac and they wouldn't even notice you. And other times he would see you through five miles of trees. I mean, it just didn't make any sense. Um, and I found a lot of the time I didn't know what I needed to do. Um, there was a little... There wasn't very much indication of what was needed to progress. Um, not only that, but the voiceover and the graphics <laughs> leave a lot to be desired for a game that should pride itself in the hunt for clues. Um, I will also add that the game, or the text in the game, is super tiny and hard to read. Though I don't have a large TV, but uh, I, I asked a couple other people that played the game, and they both, and they said the same thing. Um, the navigation is also rather annoying. Um, also, there's some technical glitches or problems with consistency when it comes to places where you get to make choices. Uh, for instance, there's a pl place where you have to choose whether to take a gun from a safe or not, and I chose to take it. But just shortly later, the game said, well, it's a shame I didn't take my gun with me. Um, except for the fact that I tried to and it just didn't care. <laughs> I also found the controls did not work correctly at all times, especially in moments when you felt you needed a uh, time, uh, or you felt like their time was of the essence, you know, so uh, that seemed to be a problem. Um, as for the achievements in this game, I can recommend it if you're not a completion junkie, because, uh, but getting a thou full thousand is going to be rather difficult, but you could get like 750 gamer score and like five or six hours probably if you hustle through the game and play on the mode that the Zodiac Killer can't kill you. Um, unfortunately getting that last big achievement that's worth 100 points for beating the entire game without the Zodiac Killer finding you is going to be very difficult because the stealth elements don't work and make no sense. So uh, I would you know, if you're a hardcore completion junkie, you will really want to stay away from that perspective. Overall, I'm going to give this game a 3.5 out of 10. I just, it's just not good. I mean, maybe it's so bad that it's going to be silly good in the future. Like, we're going to laugh at how bad it is and say it's actually a classic. <laughs> but I don't think that's the case, honestly. Um, It's just, uh, man, I really wanted, I was really hoping this was going to be a quality game. But it's just not. Um, I'm not even sure that they could really fix it easily. I'm not sure. But at any rate, um, I would save your 20 bucks on this one and get something better. There's a lot of quality stuff coming out, and this just isn't it. There's so that's pretty much all I have to say about it. If you do play it, let me know in the uh, comments what you think. Uh, and uh, thanks for like, commenting, and subscribing. Have a nice day, everybody.